Hi babes, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. Oh, I'm Darby Babes. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for, please sir, may I have some more? <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> Sweet bagger. Oliver. What's yeah. your super choice? French onion in a bread bowl. Mm. No, chili. Chill. <laughs> Is chili considered soup? I mean, I guess. Okay. But in a bread bowl. In a bread bowl. I'll do broccoli cheddar in a bread bowl. Same. <gasps> I love broccoli cheddar. Panera? Pa of course Panera. Panera. Wait, wait, okay. me too, me Can too, I... broccoli cheddar. <laughs> yeah, the, my piece stands You're for the Panera. You're the chili girl. <laughs> I don't know why that was so fun to say. <laughs> Remember when there was that Panera in Lincoln Park on Diversity that converted to a Panera Cares? So <gasps> when you went this. in to order, you paid as much as you could. <gasps> So that people who who couldn't pay could just come in and order a meal. That's so And so, nice. like, if you could afford it, like, when I went in to order, I would pay a couple extra bucks of what I, you know, what my total was, mm. so that, whatever. It was really neat. It was really, really neat. Except there was one time, I used to go all the time because I lived over there. There was this one time that this couple, they walked in, and they ordered, and they were, like, super fucking rude. Like, really, really rude. And the girl's like, okay. And the suggested donation, that's what they called it, today is whatever. And she goes, I'm not gonna pay you. And the girl goes, okay, no problem. So she walks away, she comes back, and the woman goes, and I want three cookies now. Everyone in the restaurant just kind of turned around and was like, ma'am. Ma'am, guess what? She got her three free cookies. She didn't <laughs> I mean, we don't know what she's going through. I People know, go through yeah. very different things. Maybe sure. dining out without having the funds. Like maybe that's a stressful, embarrassing thing, oh. and so she's overcompensating. That's at least what I thought. But as soon as she left, everyone in the restaurant was like, <laughs> "Oh my God, did you hear <laughs> that?" <laughs> I hope when the Amer America gets back to normal, as far as like restaurants in full capacity and whatever, mm -hmm. this kind of trope of the customer is always right. I hope that's gone, because in my experience. It's Rarely right. are the, is the customer right. Yes, they're not right. And I say this as an, a, a customer and as a person in customer service. We need to be done with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, We've given too many American consumers the idea that they're entitled. Because mm -hmm. that translates into, see how we're handling COVID? People feel so entitled. That's a nice way for you to say what I think we're all thinking is we've given American people the ability to think that we care about what they think. Like we need, we don't care. We don't care. Panera doesn't care. Yeah, the, that Panera cares closed for a reason. <laughs> it was the last place that did care. Yeah. And then, Panera's what is a bakery. It now? Is it a Chipotle? No, no there is one. By, there is one next door. I think it was a pancake house. Mm. Oh, I think it was an IHOP, but it was an international house of pancakes, like spelled out. What? Did you yeah, make those girl. nails, Darby? I did. Red You're so cute. That's darling. Thank okay. you. You know what? You are good at nails. I'm trying. Wait, you are, and you also too. made that ring. Oh, yes. So this ring, reclaim your, your feminine childhood you weren't allowed to have. Okay. This is a toy from McDonald's when the movie Hook came out. And my dad came to eat lunch with me because he would do that once a month. He would come to a different kid's table to sit with them like his own kids not like just random kids my dad wasn't like hey i like i like the looks of you N that sounded bad but he came and he brought me a happy meal and it was like the hook toys and it was the mermaid <gasps> and if you wind her up she swims in the sink usually i didn't get to keep the girl toys but because we were at school and like He's he brought me this happy meal i had to keep the toy <gasps> so I got to keep the girl toy. I, this isn't the exact one. I had to order this off eBay. But I suggest you do that. If there was something you weren't allowed to have, you, you little queers, order it off eBay it's, and make it into a ring. Oh, it's worth it. Yeah. That's, how amazing did it feel when your p older parent or older sister Died. came and had lunch with you? Oh. Didn't you feel like, okay, I am the coolest kid in the class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my mom. <laughs> None of you come near, okay? Were kids like desperate to get to your mom? Were they like, Debbie, please? Well, it was more just like, <laughs> my mom's cool. You enjoy your PB and J. I'm gonna have this happy meal with my mom. Don't worry about it. You I guys. see. It's fun. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. But that was also that was really exciting. But then when you got to like middle school and high school, and then you saw those kids eating happy meals because their parents forgot to give them lunch money or forgot to give them lunch, so they just dropped off a happy meal in the front office, mm. and that's when happy meals become sad meals because mm. their parents don't care about them. That storyline. Did you have anything that you really wanted, but it was too girly? I mean, I always wanted the girl toy, but I was 
always a well-behaved mama's boy and I was like, mommy wants me to have the Gundam action figures. I will have that. I will release myself in the play place though. Remember the play place? Mm -hmm. I oh. That's when I, that was the first time I acknowledged we are violent people. We have <laughs> us to be violent. There's always needles in the ball pit. I heard, a, I heard a podcast this week. I don't remember what it was from. My Favorite Murder. Yeah, that when they clean out the ball pit once a year, there's always needles at the bottom. Oh. Well, there was also in that somebody wrote in and said when they were little, they used to go like treasure hunting in the ball pit. They would shuffle, the, shuffle their little feet along the bottom <gasps> and pick up because there would be like toys or one time they found a pair of fabric shears, which are like Those way are longer than scissors. Expensive. And expensive, Good thank find. you. Oh. To be $50. honest though, every time I was heading into the ball pit, I was always like, do I have my fabric shears? The bigger, the better. Cause if yeah. some kid tries to take that green ball, there's only 46 others. Yeah. Okay, Sounds so horrible. I think I mentioned this before, but like Dolly Parton released her first ever perfume. She's never released perfume That's and she's, but you can smell her. Mm -hmm. I think she never released it because we all know what she smells like already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It came out on Super Bowl Sunday because football mm -hmm. and perfume, you know football players love perfume. Mm -hmm. But I did order the sample size before the, the full one came out because I wanted to sample it. <gasps> so. You have it in there. I have it, I haven't opened it. I wanted okay. us all to smell it together for <gasps> the first time. This is an exclusive. It, okay. it says butterfly hearts and hope. True inspirations from rags to rhinestones. You know, I can't do that. Rags to rhinestones. I'm, I'm too sober. I can't do okay. that right now. I love Dolly Parton and I will literally buy okay, anything she tells me to. But look, her little signature with her little butterfly. Oh my gosh, she hand signed all these. Have you ever heard that song of hers, the butterfly song thing? Oh yeah, butterfly in the sky. Yeah. I can fly twice as high. It's a spray, so I'm just gonna spray Almost it here. Nice. We're all gonna smell it for okay. the first time. Oh! Oh! <gasps> that's lovely! No, that's an old lady. That's old! <laughs> old! That's an old. old lady. Do it again. Just one. No, it's, it's all in the room now. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Ooh! Hi, miss. Ooh! Oh, hi, ma'am. You go. You know, my, my grandmother was robbed at the hair salon at gunpoint. Th that's what this brought to me. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, Dolly is what? She's in her 70s? This is something an old lady would wear. I'm still gonna buy it when it comes out in full size. Like, I have to. It smells legendary, let's say that. It smells like a sweaty flower. That's what old lady perfume. There's always like a bit of like old lady sweat and everything. Mm -hmm. Like an old lady worked for 75 years and never got the respect she deserved. That's bad. I mean, it's good. It's fine. It's old. It's, it's old. camp. I it's think. camp. I think it's camp. It's camp. It's camp. You're right. Which is, which is, a perfect segue. Which is a perfect segue Why? because this this episode dealt with a lot of camp. This was RuPaul's Drag Race UK season, whatever <laughs> episode, whatever. <laughs> Don't lose your confidence. Season I lost two. Confidence. Episode is, is four. You were so good at transitions, and then we started talking about it. I know you have to ignore me. We added me. a pressure. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Here we go. So, no, no, no. Can we you go are, back? You do the Can transition, and we'll have a private conversation. So my grandmother was at the hair salon. No, no. They came in. Two guys came in with guns. I don't they like both this. Had guns. And they took her into the bathroom, and all the other people in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We took her wedding ring the you week can't... before. 50th anniversary. Excuse the me. Week before. Excuse me. Yeah. See, grandmothers, they need to stay strapped. Did she get yeah. a new because ring? Because all these old people get she snatched these one. days. Boom. Did yeah. she did she get Boom. a new ring? Hmm? Did you do your transition yet? No. Season two, I think it's episode four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about RuPaul's Drag Race UK, season two, episode five, I believe. Five. This is the Ruru Vision song contest. Do you care about Eurovision? Yes. She does. We both got into it about two years, three years ago now. Thanks to Bar Redacted. Ladies. We hosted inform their me, viewing inform party. Me. Yes. It's Might bizarre. Be. It's wild. For those Americans who don't know anything about Eurovision. Okay, and for UK people, we're sorry. We're so sorry. Americans, to they've kept it, they've kept it from us. So we're like learning. Mm -hmm. We'll ruin it. That's why. I, I don't blame them. Oh, don't. they shouldn't trust us with it. No, no. Will Farrell made a movie about it. Okay. That we already ruined it. So it's a contest where all the countries in Europe, plus Australia for some reason, they do a pop song and they compete for the best song. It's the like a giant concert it is of the like entire mm, European. The best song. Speaking of the Olympics, it is truly the Olympics, but of the music and the pop. Do you know who was born from okay. it? Who? ABBA. 
I love Abba. Abba I don't know Abba that well. You know who else won Eurovision? Adele. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Oh, yeah, because she... Canada's in it too, right? No, but she was competing for, I think, Sweden. How? You don't she have to Sweden? be from the country that you're... <gasps> yeah. Okay, oh, you I want to just... do Bolivia. Wait, where's Bolivia? Is that I South America? I don't, I don't think Where's that's... Bolivia? It's not in the UK. <laughs> hey, Siri, where's Bolivia? <laughs> it is Here's amazing. Bolivia. Speak Spanish over there. Oh, it's in South America. Oh. It is incredible, and it is a three-day event. The rules are so amazing. This is truly why America can never do it, because one of the rules is they have to sing live. Ooh. No auto-tune. Mm. Uh, I mean, oh, they can sorry. have like auto-tune. You've but... never seen Carrie Underwood sing, though. I was about to say American Idol. Wow. Idol. Okay, so we don't have American Idol all of a sudden? You're really defending America? I'm defending Bo Bice. Oh. No, I'm not. Oh. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ooh. <laughs> you heard yourself there. I don't know It's because I said is. Carrie Underwood and... He's like a, a racist guy that was on it. He like yelled at a bunch of people at Popeyes and then he was mad because oh, he like said that. they were racist against him for being white. Was it a Popeyes Cares and he was trying to get his food for That's free? That's what it was! <laughs> he wanted three cookies! Three books or maybe biscuits. Um, well, Eurovision is amazing. I think we should cover this year because as of day of filming, it's a hundred days away. Oh, let's do it. And they oh. didn't have it last year. This year, also, guess who's hosting one of the hosts this year? Miss Nikki Tutorials. Oh, really? I love Miss Nikki. She's one of the amazing hosts. Yeah. Okay, the best part, you haven't even heard this yet. The countries vote, and then on a giant scoreboard, a person on a green screen from their country. A lot of them are really, like, adorably quirky and weird, and it's so wonderful. And they'll be like, France votes 10 points to... Yeah. Germany. You go through all that. You go through every country, and then at the end of all the countries that are competing that have put their points in, someone can be on top. Then the public gets to vote by text and email. So whoever's on top after all of that, millions of votes, could be completely reversed. Mm. And it is the ultimate like. Yeah. It's like whoa, whoa. Wait. It is amazing. It's we so need fun. that in our country. No, we don't. We'll ruin Arts it. and culture. We'll ruin it. Oh. Yeah. We'll ruin and it. you think our voting the... system's messed up? Yes. No, we can't yeah. say that legally. <laughs> Dominion voting <laughs> is right. Um. All of the performance, it's like high drag because it's like pageantry mm. representing their country. Was Conchita worse on this? She won. She won. She won. Oh, she won. Oh, I've she won. seen a little bit yeah. of this yeah, Eurovision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Alexis does a very, very good okay. uh, performance of Rise Toy. Like a Phoenix. Oh, Toy too. Yeah, yeah. That Netta one. won. Hey, Netta. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not your toy. It is incredible. Dun, dun, okay. dun, you stupid boy. Well, let's do and a, a lot of the songs party. are in English because you know. You're, you're it's a, bad. Mm. English is we're bad. I can't wait to to get into it. And I think we should do I think we should do something. Like, You'll love we it. We should cover it. Mm -hmm. You'll love it. Okay. Okay. That is what this episode was covering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's post Jenny and everyone's talking about their feelings. You know, Lawrence mentions I think that was disrespectful. Sister didn't even know it was happening mm. until she had gone. Mm. I love that Lawrence said that. Yeah, mm. I would have been in my I don't take it that too. seriously, but I'm not in the competition. But in the competition I'd be like, What the fuck are you doing? I think in general people quit. It's like, Well, why'd you come here in the first place? Give your spot to someone sister, else. Sister so. saying that like, Well now I don't know if I'm in the competition because I deserve to be or by default. I See, like, I think don't go there, ma'am. Just mm -hmm. count your blessings. I agree. But I did, I, that would make me think that too. I'm not a huge Sister Sister fan. I think the last couple episodes, it, like the, the her thing with Veronica really soured me on her. Mm. And this yeah. episode too, I wasn't a big fan. And it wasn't because of her teeth. Um, but it has something to do with her teeth. Like a little bit to do with her teeth. Speaking her of mouth. Flipper. Yeah. Speaking of Flipper, go ahead. <laughs> Speaking of Veronica, Ahura mentioned she was like, I thought Veronica was going to be in the bottom, a piggy bottom, if you will, because mm -hmm. remember she was in there. Yeah, we, we picked bottom before. And Veronica said, no, I know my worth. You all think I'm cocky. I'm not. I'm hmm. confident. Which is a fine line. I don't think she ever came across to me as cocky. Me neither. I didn't either. She's assertive in her defense of herself. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think it's a very easy way to define that as cocky. Mm -hmm. She even And she said defends that. her friends too. Like she it, it isn't about, you know, her arrogance. It because she isn't arrogant, it's about like, you know, defending herself and defending people who aren't there to defend themselves. Absolutely. Which Mm. Is why it was kind of a blow because the next thing we see is RuPaul comes on the on the screen and everyone's like, "What's going on?" And RuPaul says, "Babes, COVID's happening." In it, in mm -hmm. it, you all have to sashay away. You're right, babes. 
They they're won't. not all right. They they're won't. not all right. No. So they go. Well, because keep in mind, they've been filming, so they don't have their phone. They don't have the they internet. Don't they know. didn't know uh, how bad it was mm, getting, probably. True. Right? Yeah. Was this Rue in the yellow wig? Was this the moment where she had on the that, Well, that's that when we come back. That's when oh, okay, that's back. when we were It took her seven months to grow that. <laughs> <laughs> it's seven months later. They all come back. We get kind of boy entrance looks, which was fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was super fun. First yeah. of all, Ahura is the first to walk in, and I was alone the fuck with. She looks so good. She looks so good. good. So good. I think I've changed my mind. I think she might be my new trait of the season, which I don't know what we would do if we were together. We'd probably just giggle, but she looked good. Okay, she Ahura. looks so good. So and good. they all come in one by one, and they even said it. It's kind of like all stars. They're all coming back, like, mm -hmm. refreshed. Mm -hmm. What did we think of Bimini? Bimini's new face. She looked she looks pretty. Good. I thought she looked she great. She looks good. I loved it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then Sister Sister walks in with her flipper, which the Vivian had a flipper. It's not like she's the first person mm -hmm. to have a flipper. Jean Benet. What happened? Yeah, so she's not the first person to have a flipper, but she is the first person to have a bad flipper. They oh. didn't fit in her mouth. Mm. Oh, see, I never noticed that stuff. Oh, It's my like God. the perfume. I think it smelled good. I didn't notice those teeth. Old people don't notice teeth because they're just happy to have them. Her hair looks Are you saying I'm old? No, you liked the old lady fragrance. I'm saying that you have an old spirit. Oh. Veneers. I love veneers. Well, yeah, those are expensive. Those are expensive. I don't blame her for wanting. I, as the someone who has mm -hmm. to see my yellow teeth when I'm doing the editing, sorry, I shouldn't say that. My candy corn teeth. Because they are white in there some you spots. Go, love yourself. But the thing is, she already filmed half the show with her. Like, we already saw them. So, unless you are coming back with veneers, don't put in that flipper. So, is a flipper just something you pop in? Yeah, over your teeth. Yeah. Which is why it didn't fit totally in her mouth because her teeth were still there. I want the reveal. I want the performance where just like, ah, and then. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be It's nice? what like little pageant queens wear. Little kids who don't have adult teeth yet. They have to put adult teeth in their mouth so that the judges <gasps> sexualize Are we wrong? Them. I didn't know. Wrong? I didn't know about any of this. I've heard that term before. You didn't watch Toddlers and Tiaras? How did you come to no. know Honey Boo Boo? Well, you talk about her a lot. I do actually. Who else came in there with a beautiful face? It was good to all see them. All of them. So happy to see all of them. They're all beautiful. Is that what you meant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, except for one, everyone's like, where is Miss Veronica? Yeah. And then Rue walks in with the wig of with all With that wigs. lemon wig. Here comes Jane Lynch. Jenny Lemon Lynch. Why did she, why do you, th why, why? Just well, to line up the way. Hey. I think Sorry she about was, Corona. Remember? Remember me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I thought it was fun. <laughs> you have to have fun in your old You age. have to have fun. You have to yeah. have fun. You have to laugh. Well, I think this entire episode we saw that she was very, we're all going to die. Everything's about to end. So just have fun. Mm -hmm. I think this was her having fun. We weren't having fun. Yeah. She was having fun. She always has fun It on was her a show. say yeah. something hat day, but instead of a hat, she did hair. <clears throat> I was so stressed out by spirit weeks when I was in school. <gasps> I love spirit right, weeks. Right, because like you're, you're so into costumes, you don't want to go too far that you're like, oh. you're like the, the class president. She needs help at home. Yeah, like you wanted to look sort of normal, like you didn't care, but you, that was stressful. <gasps> really? You overthought it because I was just like, if it's crazy socks, I want the craziest socks you can get. I'll wear like striped socks, but there'll be like some bright colors in it and I can put my pants over them so that people don't think I'm... Mm. I want a socks made out of plastic Penises. or something. Oh. The, I'm not... The, 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 there's probably, penis that's pro socks? That's probably happening. Penis socks. Yeah, and you, you, get the, you get the uncut one so that you penis can sock. roll up your socks when you get cold. <laughs> penis no! socks. No! <laughs> it's all skin. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh ew. I'm ooh. ew. <laughs> So no. anyway, Veronica Green died. No, we she No, got she tested positive. Rue right. says So sad. Yeah. What did you say? Seven what did you say? She had seven months to not catch it and then boom, right before oh. filming. Because it likely one of the some of the other queens <clears> had <throat> to have had it in the last seven months, right? Yeah, I think so. Like pro there's a good chance to be at the very end of it and 
that's when you get but it. Yeah. Silver Linings. She will return the following season and get a spot right. on the bike. That's cool. Silver Linings Playbook. Now she's going to have to step out of all the drama and she's mm. going to have to reestablish herself in some new drama because let's be honest, her drama is what made her really interesting in the last couple episodes. Well, maybe by the reunion, if she tests negative, she can be like, okay, well, let me resolve this Ahura. Yeah, or, she needs know. an Ahura, Ahura Veronica moment. Mm -hmm. I will say though, we've only had somebody return due to a medical issue once and none of us were thrilled with that. So I am kind of excited to have someone oh. that I'm happy to see again. Are you talking about ooh, the elephant queen? Yeah. Oh. When she broke her knee or whatever, I was like, God damn it, we're gonna have to go through this again. Listen, I, apparently she's, people like her. I'm not saying she's shit a drag. Sure. But you got, that, what is, what is that, that? But look, what is this? You saw what it was. But what is this? But you see that? You see, look what at is that, this? look. It's the elephant trunk. Mm -hmm. Is there? I'm not going to do mm -mm. it. Is that hair? Speaking of elephants, Rue brings in the Brit crew and they're dressed as animals. Mm -hmm. An oh. elephant, a bear, yeah. this and that. And then Rue says, oh, Brit crew, take off your mask, which is not recommended. In no, the no, pandemic. that's not. But they do it. It's not the Brit crew. It's Joe Black, Cherry Valentine, and Astina Mandela. Wow. Cute. Can you believe? I was Adorbs. so excited. She says, because there's a spot opened up, we're gonna let one of the girls come back. Mm -hmm. And we didn't invite Jenny because she pissed me off. Well, she took herself out of the competition. Yeah. And she also was wearing Jenny's wig. So if Jenny came back, she'd have to take the wig off. But she wasn't about to do that. Has anyone heard from Jen Jenny though? Did Rue I'd take more than her wig? Her skin looked a little bit more youthful too. Huh? <gasps> uh -oh. oh. If it wants to be on the show again, it'll put the lotion on its skin. Oh, fuck. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what is that from? Silence, Silence of the Land. Have you ever seen that? Uh uh. It's if you him. don't want the hose again, you have to put the lotion on your skin. Silence of the Lambs. Why are you acting like you've never heard of that? I mean, I, it sounds familiar. Silence of the Lambs. Clarice. What answered your body? I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, my teeth are too weak. <laughs> <can't do> it. <laughs> Here's the rub. Rue says one of you gets to come back to the competition, but I'm going to make the current contestants vote on who to bring back. That was dumb to me. These girls that drove all the way with their bags. Drove all six hours. Stayed at a hotel for two days. For 14 days. Or 14 days, yes. Yeah. <gasps> they had to quarantine for that. So oh. whoever doesn't get it, pack your bags, you're dropping back home. Uh, for a minute, oh. I thought they were going to let those three compete in the episode. And yes, that same. way, that would have been cool. The clownery, the foolishness, and the disrespect. <laughs> to have these queens come in with these mascot yeah. costumes. Yeah. They'd be like, we're just going to vote you. It. In front of you. And we're not even going to vote you in the traditional... Put a lipstick in the box, let's be dramatic. No, we've got some extra mirrors and some lipstick. I oughta. I, well, a girl, I oughta. Because we all knew who was gonna be there. Like, we all knew that they wanted to bring Joe back. I mean, why'd you do that to Cherry and Estina? Why are yeah. they wearing animal costumes? I know. Did you see at the end, though, when they sashayed away again and Estina's like, bye everyone, they closed up and she's just drenching with sweat? Not only did you have to quarantine for two weeks, to then stand here and be a little humiliated. But now you're dressed as like a, a dog and you're covered in sweat. Mm -hmm. That's rude. Shout out to my girl, Cherry Valentine, who did not get a vote. I was gonna say, sh not nobody voted vote. for her. No one voted for her. That's so sad. We saw a couple different things from her. So, if, you know, if you're putting yeah. her up against Joe Black, it's like, mm -hmm. well, we still haven't seen a lot from Joe. We saw what you could do. I did think it was funny how each one of them went down the line and said, I went with my heart. Like each one. Because mm -hmm. they all have hearts. Yeah. All right. Oh, there goes the pre-workout. Do you need more? Do you need another? No, no, I'm pretty strong. You right? ready to work out? <laughs> yeah. Lift me. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh my titties. You're so loud. Asina and Cherry do leave, but they each get a two-night stay at a hotel in London. Would you quarantine for two weeks? inside a hotel room by yourself to get two nights in a hotel in London. That's what I'm saying. Well, you know me, and oh, I yeah, know you. You would. you would. We both would. <laughs> no, I would. I would quarantine for two weeks to stay at two a hotel weeks, for two nights. Two weeks in a hotel quarantining, though. 
I, you know, I I'm still in the pillows. Like I'm still in the towels. Yeah. I'm still in the. I'm unplugging that phone and taking it with me too. It's on their bill. I miss, <laughs> I miss having a wall phone. I do want me a wall too. phone. Me too. Me too. Like a let's cute little that. cord. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Let's get on that. Um. <laughs> did y'all ever do prank calls when you were little? No, but I did mm -mm. figure out that if you press zero. There was some, somebody would come on the line. Operator. Operator. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And so I just, so I kept doing it and I kept doing it. I called my brother and sister in there and we'd be like, oh my God, there's a woman on the line. And then we'd hang up. But we didn't say anything because we were stupid. Anyway, so <laughs> the operator <laughs> called back and kept calling. And then my dad, who was outside, like heard the phone kept ringing and he came in and we were like terrified. And he found out that we had been calling the operator. And you know what he did? Nothing, because we called the operator. Like, who the fuck cares? Who cares? <laughs> he went right back outside. That's he their was like, job. He was like, don't do that. The main challenge is the Rue Revision Song Contest. Rue is going to pair them in groups, mm. and they each have to make a Rue Revision song. They get the exact same song. Mm -hmm. They have to choreograph mm -hmm. and record and, the song. And, and, and they do own, their little verse, their, their mix. They, they have to write rap their... or sing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they go in to, or they go out to the stage to record. Mm -hmm. And welcome back from last season. <gasps> M-N-E-K. How so cute. Cute did they look. And well, their runway look especially when they were at the judges table. Yeah. So cute. They have to write their own verse. They get to decide though if they want to sing or they want to rap. Now you would sing, I would yeah. assume. And you would rap. I'd probably give a little barb, yeah. I think I would do a Davina DeCampo double. I now recognize at this old age that my falsetto singing is not great for like a pop song. I wouldn't no more drama it. Mm -hmm. But Davina, she did a little like ha 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 da da ha 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 and then she just started like singing opera for no mm. reason. I think I'd do that. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you still have it in you. I've got a lot of drama in me and I have to say no more. If you'd like to see me singing No More Drama in high school, Mary J. Blige, that is on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash I the show. It is literally worth the five dollar okay. monthly fee. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sad. It was sad. <laughs> it was hard to watch, wasn't it? Redo it. Let's hear it. <laughs> yeah. No, there's gotta be a different take on it, I'm sure. Oh, I'll have yeah, I'll have see if someone can make no, it to like a ballot. Like a No more COVID ballot. in our lives. <gasps> Well, no, because I want this to stand the test of time. The two groups are the United King Dolls, or UKD, mm -hmm. which is cute. So cute. And then Banana Drama. I liked how Lawrence Shana was like, Banana I drama. love that idea. The UK Doll, uh, King Dolls. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. It did feel a little... Because a horror caught on it, so he was like, do you really like that idea? Like, yeah, yeah, she's like, are you taking the piss? Well, I think that was partially because Lawrence was very nervous about this. Because Lawrence yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I come I'm back and it's a singing and dancing challenge. Uh -huh. fucking kidding. During that choreography moment, Tace was kind of taking charge for their group, the UK Dolls. I thought Tace was so, like, patient but professional. Yeah, like, gave good critiques like, and yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, the the other three, really. yeah, 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 Tace, Bimini, and... Ahura? Yeah, yeah, Tace mm -hmm. Bimini and Ahura, mm -hmm. they were all really good, and, you know, Lawrence was kind of struggling. I just thought he was, it was very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the entire experience in that group seemed a lot more positive. Because it's true, like, you can't yeah. really explain it, but the energy does have to match. Mm -hmm. There is a benefit with having Tace and Ahura as roommates, because then mm -hmm. you already see each other's working patterns, and yeah, there's true. some established experience there. Oh, yeah, there. that you was funny, I mean? that moment when Lawrence was like, I have been writing so much fan fiction about the two of them. Mm -hmm. Seven months. The spider web shooting on the back. Yeah. Oh. Remember that one? That <laughs> comment? I, I think in the seven months, though, Lawrence's eyebrows got a little closer. You know what it was? I think I think they realized life is fleeting. We never are promised tomorrow. So they just wanted Come to be together. closer. Come together. That's what it was. Come together. I love Lawrence. And that's Still what Tace and Ahura were doing, is coming together. <laughs> oh! Ew, don't put that in. Don't put that You're in. You're nasty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this going to be in like a new thing that every episode <laughs> you mention cum? <laughs> it's been a full year. I'm still laughing. Of cum? Of no cum. <laughs> the black dress and on the back is all cum. <laughs> It is so hard to monetize these that videos. So Watch these videos twice <laughs> and never skip an ad because we cannot monetize this shit. No, is that true? It's, well, no, no, it, we, no. The, the ads are limited. I'm sorry. No, don't be no, sorry. No, no. Just know that your cut will be a little. It's a load. Her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Her what? I just. That's why I said it because remember when you said it when sugar you were doing sugar cane. Oh, I'm giving you cum, honey. <laughs> So funny. Uh, uh, all right. 
Is that our, is that, what would our group, uh, group name be? The Cum Honeys? I need you to take a break. I need you to <laughs> I know, breathe I'm in sorry. through your nose. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it. Okay. Hold it. Keep holding. Hold on. Don't no, take okay. any more air in. You're turning blue. <laughs> violet, you're turning violet. They're talking about the lockdown. They're talking mm -hmm. about something that we very much understand is how non-essential artists are. Right. Yeah. So it's how been disposable kind of a our job is. Mm -hmm. and yeah. We mm -hmm. always talk about it, but this this came up at honestly yeah. the perfect time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This IMHO. We had worked long enough to have a better. We we still didn't have it all worked out in a cohesive way in the way we do now. But we had worked it out enough that we at least had a little bit of income. Mm -hmm. You know, like I mean, now our Patreon. Can I say this? Can I say this out loud? Oh, go ahead. We hit 700 patrons this week. Oh my gosh. Hello 700. and welcome. 700. I think we went into the this group. quarantine with like two, mm -hmm. maybe a hundred. And all of you OG you patrons, every time we hit a milestone like this, we are not forgetting about you because it's the Neon MUAs, the LA Michaels. Hello. They are the ones Hello. that keep us... They yeah, keep coming the back. The girls. And, yeah, as long as we see their names in the credits. We'll talk, we know we'll we're talk. Fine. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank and we you. just launched the Discord server this past week too. And it is beyond active. It's a little intimidating. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm just like, I don't want to, oh, that was funny. Can I, if you have a moment, why don't you go over to Patreon and just check out the options? Because I think it's a really fun community. Yeah. They're so funny. Mm -hmm. Our patrons are so. Quick with the memes. And yes. the edits. Yes. And we have, on the Discord server, we do have like Drag Race UK, Drag Race US. So if you do want to just, if you don't have anyone to talk to about Drag Race and you need to share your thoughts or you want to say like, why the fuck does Alexis like come? You can do that on our Discord. Yeah, and we'll do a special <laughs> come, no. We'll do a come no. chat I'm sorry. just for people who want to talk about come. Wait, okay, okay, I'll be serious, Where I'll be serious. Way? You know what I need you to do? I need you to dehydrate. Okay, I take all that come out. <laughs> no, but she's unloading. No. <laughs> <laughs> that you laugh at? Yeah, it's funny when she says it. Okay. Look how big her wig is. All right. <laughs> um, I it's will say I'm really grateful to both you girls and to all of the IMHO uh -huh. patrons out there because this has been the thing that has able personally to keep me focused on something hey, productive. Oh, well, not productive. just that, but like during the pandemic, what else did any of us do? Mm -hmm. Thank God we have something that we can kind of get up and do, get up and do mm -hmm. and be creative and I did, still be I did feel for Bimini because Bimini was the one that brought it up. First, I just want to say I was wrong. I apologize to all, all of the UK people who were like, y'all don't understand Bimini. Like we love Bimini. Right. I love Bimini. Oh, this yeah. episode especially. Mm -hmm. I just, it took me a minute to get on board because I'm older, my knees, I can't climb up on board as easily, but I love Bimini. Mm -hmm. And I lo yeah. love Bimini just saying like, that. that's tough to realize that like your job is just ripped away and it doesn't matter. Well, I don't know that she said those words, but that's kind of how I, I felt. It was but crazy. Then to have and then the our presence, like what we have online, I know it sounds dramatic, but it's mm -hmm. life-saving. Mm -hmm. Oh, this absolutely. saved, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to speak for y'all, but this saved my life. Emotionally, financially, like, mm -hmm. sanity. Can I say something about Elon Musk real quick? Yeah. <laughs> just, just Elon, you, you know Elon Musk. Yeah. That boy. Yeah, that she, boy with the technology trying to push the future into okay. cyber securities. So what, and, what, what she does with transitions, you do the opposite. What? Derail? <laughs> yeah. Well, there are things that we need to talk about. No, not, yo, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. The world of technology making us all at home, working on our computers, yeah. talking to each other through chat. Mm -hmm. yeah. We still are social creatures. We still need to talk. We still need to connect. Mm -hmm. And that's what drag queens do. We help people. I don't know if we help people connect, but whenever, you know, people are like wandering around in we the do. bar. Yeah. We, we do, we do. Whenever people are like wandering in that bar, mm. you see that drag queen like, hey, who's got a big dick or something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, oh, well now we're going to have a conversation. Get a load of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a load of this girl. We're, don't we're say load around that. Alexis. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what that does to me. Uh, <laughs> what about Elon Musk? He's pushing us into the, it, it's all his fault. It's all his <laughs> fault. I know I go on these crazy auntie rants. No, we need no, it. But we but I'm it. saying it's he's, all connected. He's the he has surpassed. You know he has surpassed Jeff Bezos in wealth. 
exponentially. At this point, though, like, they're both so... Remember when Jeff Bezos, like, retired this week or something? He's stepping mm -hmm. down from Amazon that he yeah. knows that this week. Ugh. Bitch, you're a billionaire. You saying, I'm leaving my job? Yeah, you're a billionaire. That's not news. You don't have it. You don't you need to work. Don't a job. What the fuck are you talking about? Speaking of jobs, so UK... Kind of like how we did, there was a little bit of surge where people could kind of go back in limited capacities. And then our Scott girls, they could not. And so Miss Ellie had to go back to the drive-thru mm -hmm. during this seven month break. Mm -hmm. I just Isn't fall, that crazy? I fall in love with her a little more every episode. Because I feel like every episode we see more and more humanity from her. Not that she came in not being human, but yeah. someone with that much polish, it is easy to kind of forget that there's a human mm -hmm. being in there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. especially like after this week when Alexis just destroyed Ellie's confidence. And so let's let's talk that? about this. And hurt hurt Ellie, really. She tweeted about it because it was so mean. Start with I'm sorry. Yeah, start with and what then... did you do? <laughs> I'd like to write an elegy for Ellie D. And what that yeah, means Apologize is, for that. I feel like there's a two against one thing <laughs> happening tonight. And I I'm, miss it when you I'm were I'm easily in influenced. City. If you attack her, I'm on board too. Yeah, she so just, just goes, throw she a goes either way. Okay, okay. She's in the middle for that reason. She'll okay, go, okay. the mediator. I just want to say, I don't remember exactly what I said. But Ellie wrote this amazing tweet. We explaining, both said it. It was interesting. Just explaining how she had just started learning to sew. And she only knew a few patterns. And mm -hmm. that's why you're seeing a lot of leotards and chaps. And I... Just want to say, I'm sorry, that bit of context is great. Because now that I know that she just started learning to sew, she mm -hmm. was working up until the moment she left. She's still a young girl. She's 23. She taught Jeez. herself to sew, right? She taught herself to sew, and she's already putting out, like, really clean, polished, like, clean. polished, detailed looks. I mean, I've been sewing for, like, four years, and I can't make anything that I don't. Good. I don't think Ellie was even looking for an apology. To me, her tweet read as, like, I get it, ladies, like, not just ladies. She wasn't just talking about us, but, like, all the reviewers. Like, yeah. I get it. Like, it's the same thing. It's not... I wish I had different silhouettes too, but like that's just what I was kind of working with at the time. So I, I don't think she's requiring it because I don't think you no. need to apologize. No, 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 no. But, but, no, no. but I, the point I'm making is like the context, that bit of context, I loved it. Canceled. She's canceled. Canceled? She's canceled, obviously. You're canceled. See, she sits in the middle. Whatever I say, she says, you try it. Now you try it. Try being mean? Yeah. You try and say something so that she is on your side now. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, Darby. Yeah. Looks extremely beautiful today, don't you agree, Chan? You, you could use some help. <laughs> oh. That's not being in the middle. Oh, wait, wait. That's being your own person. <laughs> she didn't go for it, so I did. <laughs> Let's go to the runway. I want to talk it. about the runway. Let's talk about it. Rue comes out in this mini pink Ooh. kind of crumpled. Legs. It was very pretty. Love. Legs. She Love. had legs. Love. She had hair. Hair. It was all good. This was a good. I feel like movie. you can make that wig. I feel like you have. You have made that, that wig. I want to try it. I want to. You're really try it. Alexis. Look at this. Look at this wig that, that she made. You're big. It looks You're so, so good, good though. Thank so good you. At everything. Thank you. You're so good at everything. Your head looks so tiny now. Michelle Visage came out in an Akira classic, which I love. That Denali. Didn't she tweet that out? Yes, she did. Coming out in her Akira look. For those of you who don't know, Akira is a. It's really a drag queen it's store. It's like H&M. Yeah, for in Chicago. Yeah. Graham Norton was there. He looked very dashing. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so, because he's kind of the UK voice of Eurovision. Mm -hmm. He does, like, the commentating. And then M-N-E-K. Oh, my God. So, so beautiful in the yellow and the so black. So cute. With the cute little buns. Obsessed. The makeup. Perfect. Up first is the United King Dolls, the UKD. Mm -hmm. And the song is called UK Hun. Now, <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of tweets. Everyone's been saying, Rue stole your thing. I want to I wanna just come clean. Mm -hmm. Rue did contact me. Mm -hmm. She called my phone. My assistant answered her. Her name's Jen. I had to fire her, but I hired her back. And they asked for permission to use UK. I said, you know what? We have our own, because we have our own song in the works. We have our own pop group coming and we're going to do our song UK. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, I'd appreciate it if you just kind of gave us a chance. You know, we're we're three up and coming girls. Mm -hmm. Up and comers. On the rise. Up and Keep comers. An and just let us fly for a little bit. You've been flying for a long time. So she did UK hun. She added the hun. And I don't usually say hun. So it is different. There are two different mm -hmm. songs. Yeah. But it felt good to be tagged in all those tweets. 
It did take me quite a, a moment though, when I was watching it, I was like, UK Hun, what does that mean? Are the Huns like a big deal there? Huns. You know, like the historical Huns? The Huns. Is that a thing? Huh. Is, is, the Huns. Are the Huns a thing? Are the Huns But bad? then I realized oh. they were saying like, honey, but like Hun, and I then I got it and I said, yeah. I like Alexis' idea better. Or if they had done like, UK in it. <laughs> the I thought, UK dolls. Perfect. They slayed. They were slayed. phenom. They slayed. So and fun. it was, it was. That song was fun. Yeah, the bing, song bang, was bong, good. Bing, 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 it, it had UK different energy in levels. It, it was oh, speeding up, slowing down. Yeah, and when, it, and when when Graham was announcing them, they had that little package before. So in Eurovision, every time a country does it, they have a little like passport package, and you show the performers mm -hmm. running through the city, like a new part of the city. So it's kind of like whatever city is hosting Eurovision gets a little bit like promo. It's okay. So hard. It was so to cool. watch Eurovision as an American because it just immediately makes you want to go to all of those places and you are literally an ocean away. You know, like if you live in Germany and you want to go to France, it's not that big a deal. You can be a German and be like, you want to get lunch? Yeah, where do you want to get lunch? The top of the Eiffel Tower? Sounds good. I'll meet you there. And then you can bicycle over. I think it's like a five hour drive. Right? Or, or like a 10 hour bicycle. It's fine. <laughs> What did we think of the UK dolls? I loved them. Loved. So I thought they were perfect. Great. Every single person. Dancing, acting, singing. The looks. The looks. The looks. Lawrence Chaney constantly impressing, like dressing in a different... Yeah. You know, so, she was younger. Yeah. I like that they had her go first because it was like, all right, she's the least, you know, let's get her out of the way. But I think she, she held up that her was end smart. of the bargain. That was she, smart. She, there was something that I felt very connected to her as I was watching her lip sync because I'm also not a great lip syncer. It's not something I excel at, but whenever I, I feel kind of insecure or feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, I very aggressively point at someone mm -hmm. or I direct my energy at someone in the audience like, yeah. And I point, mm. and I point, and I, yeah. I think that's a default for mm. a lot of comedy queens who maybe not be good lip syncers. And so she, as soon as she started, as soon as she started doing it, I was like, I see that girl, you do it. But yeah. she did it so well. Mm -hmm. She Taste did great. looked beyond beautiful. Can I say something about that commentary that you just said about the yeah. comedy queens? This is getting a little too ahead of the final lip sync as well. Yeah. I don't personally like it when the queens go, ah. Yeah, we did have oh, a, bag it's a of You know what I it's mean? A little... bag of it's like yeah. I, I can decide if it's can I decide if it's funny? Can I laugh? Can you stop I, no one likes being pressured, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is telling me laugh, laugh, it's funny. If I were a child, I would just start crying. <laughs> this lady is pressuring me to laugh at her and I don't have it in me. Can I say something also? No. You are not a bad lip syncer. Oh. I think you feel like you are, because I think I am too, but I think what's likely is that we don't practice enough. Oh. Yeah, you need to How did you get so good? What? Do you How practice you in the so mirror at, at lip syncing? Y'all don't just like go throughout your day with like your headphones in and like the song is on. Next time Carrie Underwood is on in the house. No, so I, I, in I only listen to podcasts. Lip sync the podcast. Oh yeah, you're right. Lip sync <gasps> the podcast. I would and love then, to hear you so lip sync. Then, they approached with a knife. <laughs> but you don't have to. Then he was found guilty, even though the fingerprint did not match. <gasps> Girl. We could lip sync to MFM. My favorite murder? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, it's all in the titties. That's yeah. what I'll tell you. If you're running out of things to do, titty, just titty, bounce. Titty. Which is what Lawrence did. Lawrence hit her titties. There you there go. There was that doon doon. There you go. So they were great. It, it made seeing the next group even harder. It seems like the only kind of common ground the four of the banana drama team found was they all had versions of pink in their suitcases. Mm -hmm. mm. We didn't really talk about this, but in the rehearsal, they were like, not all of us are dancers, so we need to dumb down this choreography. And there is simple choreography, and then there's standing in the same place in the same configuration, doing the same moves five times in a row. That was a long song. They it played, didn't feel long the first time, did it? They played, well, it did. They played that whole song twice. Mm. That was a lot of song. Mm. It's hard to follow up a really good act too, you know? Yeah. Like the yeah. first team was so good, and then now you have to be compared to that. Well, I guess it works either way, because there's only two. You do have to ding, ding, dong. Your ding ding mm -hmm. dong. Am I being? Which is where cum comes from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. 
When you said up and coming, I was like, come on, girl. <laughs> I thought Tia looked cute. I liked Tia's outfit. I love Tia's yeah. hair. I liked Sister Sister's outfit. I thought she looked great. She yeah. looked really I think great. her makeup looks a lot better. Yeah. I think she practiced. So mm -hmm. Sister Sister, for better or for worse, I think she came back a new person. Agreed. I think she said, I'm here to make, for better, for I'm better. here to show who I am. I felt like she kind of let loose a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think you Tia disagree? kind of had huh? that energy too. Do you disagree? I liked her dress. Should we get into these runway looks? Let's yeah. talk about that. The Let's theme the... was by the sea. By the, by the sea, sea by the sea, by wanna... the beautiful sea. Beachside side Let's get into you it. You and me, oh how happy we'll be. Picture this. Okay. The waves are crashing onto the shore. Oh. In Brighton? In Brighton, it's 80 okay. degrees. Um, Does it ever get 80 in Brighton? They have the sun like four days a year. The seagulls are looking for them fries that you got out. Look for the chips. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there it goes. So now, you feel the see, JB's coming over now. And then, we don't have chips. First up, you see Bimini Bonbu Lash. She is wearing a blue sheer look. It's mesh. It's, uh, there's like lace on it. The, oh, yeah, with the parasol. With the parasol. The cap. What did we think? I loved it. Love. I loved her, her makeup skin. Really she looked good. stunning. Yeah. She's showing off her body. She loves her body. Yeah. I love a see through she lace. Looked, mm -hmm. I will always be for a see through lace. The appeal is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very appealing. And then the ice cream man riding by on his bike. He's offering a little something. something. You look to your left, you see mm -hmm. Tace. Okay. Tace is wearing the <gasps> starfish sandy mullet glamour nude net. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh so yeah. Boring. Uh, and it's, I think it's, is it stone? It's like stoned it's net. Stoned and then he, net. she had like starfish. She even mentioned crabs. Yeah. She had crabs. The crabs. She okay. gave a shout out you, to the girls. If you want to give me crabs, let me know. She's never had it. She had the shell kind of crotch covering. Very small note. Very, very small, very small note. note. Oh, notes. I have had shells in my crotch as well. They weren't low enough. Did you notice that her, so her, the shell crotch stopped like, here and then right underneath it was the end of her crotch. Did you see that? I know that's picky, but I didn't notice that. Yeah. I did. I like noticed a little bit. Of a, that. Little bit. a little bit. It just wasn't low enough, which made me sad. But it's fine. They won, and there's more that, that's shells. Yeah, that's stupid. And then you hear the little kids playing. They've got the bucket of sand. They're dumping it on each other. They're crying. And then you look to your right. <laughs> yeah. Ahora. <gasps> in a beautiful newspaper <gasps> with chips in it. What is that the newspaper? Was, is that what they? Is that what? Yeah, they, they serve the chips in like newspaper. In newspaper, that's cute. So that's like a beach thing, then. Yeah, I guess so. I I I wonder if it's kind of all around anywhere there's water near. It's mm -hmm. like fish and chips. Mm -hmm. You get it all in the same. Like they roll up the paper, yesterday's paper, and then they put. No, the but fish like and you know when in. you go to the beach and there's like food vendors and stuff. I guess like for us it's churros. Those are beach food. To me. Yeah, so like Chicago. nachos or ice yeah. cream for me, yeah. But the, I guess for them is, is a paper full of uh, oh, yeah. french fries and well, some hot it, stuff. It, the, the fish, from what I understand, it's fish and chips, so it's fish. And then picture this, oh, it's it's really okay. warm on your back. It's starting to burn a little bit. You go, babe, can you grab the sunscreen? Can is you that rub calm? it on my back? <laughs> is that the calm is burning your back? No, this, I said this, oh, the oh, sun sorry. is burnt. Sorry, she just said calm. I had calm on the brain. Must be come on the brain. <laughs> Speaking of, and then you see Lawrence come emerging <gasps> from that water in her lifesaver orange and so oh gorgeous. gorgeous. This is so cute. Stunning. 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 She, oh, her body is. She gives you that 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 camp, that good it's tasty camp. It's camp, but it's like glamour. It's, it's camp glamour, so which is stylized. That's true. Mm. Yeah. The blonde hair with the orange Gorge. streaks. Her makeup was it's, stunning. It's so bright. Those are the things though that I like, I feel like I struggle with. Well, I don't ever really try to make big outfits, but if I did, Ooh. thinking of a concept, I always think like, yeah, I could put a lifesaver or whatever on my head, but like, what else am I gonna do? And she, the she creativity, costume, to create yeah. an entire thing around mm -hmm. that, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Inspirational. Lawrence, Big fans. Lawrence Big Chin. Fans. You stand up to stretch, you grab the beach ball, and oh, it's your friend. It's our friend. It's Ellie Diamond. Oh my god! <gasps> she's, well, she's not herself, no. per se. Oh, it's a giant seagull is coming to Giant your, bird. Your, your volleyball. In a bikini. In a yellow polka dot bikini. bikini. That she wore oh, for the first time today. She had an eeny weeny teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. Ah! 
jing, jing, jing. <laughs> I got it. I love singing. singing. I love singing. You are a good singer. I think you need. So here's the thing. She's a good singer. We know that. I I just have the confidence of a good singer. You need to have the confidence of. A good no, singer. you have a beautiful voice. Don't talk about my friend like that. I say that so that she'll say that. So. Okay, let's talk about Ellie Diamond. Okay. Because Brilliant. because I fucked up so bad last week and said. You did we'll not. I I brought it no, up last no. week. I no, was no, just no. Being an I know. I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm just kidding. The face was so cool. Mm-hmm. Chicken feathers are a big thing here right now in America yes. because of the girls, but I didn't <laughs> mind it. I didn't mind it on the face. The girls. And she made those shoes into webbed feet. So that was cool. Awesome. She Y'all keep going. I'm sorry. JB needs her ahead. eardrops. Take care of that baby. I'm so sorry. Y'all keep talking. Now. JB needs her eardrops. eardrops. She is working at a drive through making that money, thinking about all these looks that she wants to make. That is so so inspirational. I just love that this that is the energy that she has. Yeah. I hope that drive through Has her picture in the drive through Oh, that would be so cute. This was so fun. It was unexpected. Oh. Coming well, out an as a seagull. Girl, a mascot. Because I, I saw that picture before I watched the episode, her post of, of the picture. And then when I saw the, the pit crew come out in those animals, I was like, oh, maybe they're doing like animal themed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, a lot of animal stuff today. A lot of furry culture we're hitting on. Okay. They're on the rise. They're on the rise. They are. Well, Good for them. Rise. Nope. What else is on the rise? Stop. What's coming through the vast deference? <laughs> She's still got come on the brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Must be come, come on, on the, the brain. brain. Oh, you're nasty. I like um, this day you're taking us through, this day on the beach. Right, yeah, right. I'm like just it. trying to, I'm trying to. All right, what are we saying Because it's like negative two degrees. Mind. Mind. Okay. Next, you're going into your little book bag. Okay. You're pulling out Is uglies. Candy Muse attached to it? Yes, Candy okay. Muse is right on top of that. Take uh, your skirt. You're taking out your book. It is Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> uh -huh. You want to revisit them high school days. Mm -hmm. You just really want to be about that heat. Oh, Tia Coffee's saying, is that Fahrenheit 451? And you look up and she's got on this ice cream look. So there's a, people are selling so ice cherries. creams, and then she just pops up. And she, yes. Whoa. And she just pops up. Is it coffee flavored ice cream? It's coffee flavored ice cream. Ben and Jerry's coffee. Okay. I was afraid. I was, I was, I was worried about this coming up. So here's gotcha. the thing is I would wear that. Cut to me in my Starbucks Same. coffee cup look. I would wear it and I liked the, I think maybe in comparison. I would wear it in a bar. Hmm. I agreed with Rue saying that is a pub look, that is a club look. Yes. But as soon as it hit the runway, I was like, well, where's the, where's the, how did you elevate that? When it first came yeah. out, I thought, why isn't the whole thing stoned? If it was completely mm, rhinestone, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. maybe that would have shifted it, but. The, well, because they had to close up on her skirt for me to even see that the pattern was the a cone. The yeah. I will say, her makeup. Oh, she, she looks, looks so, so cute. Seven the months. Seven months. I mean, seven Tia months. has seen this on TV and on Twitter now. So I think she's getting the memo that we all think she's a gorgeous supermodel. Mm -hmm. And she has the world at her disposal. She's got all the tools. She's got all, well, exactly. Tool? No, Rosé no, stole all the tool. Rose. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love Rosé. I don't mean to be shady. Uh -uh. She doesn't watch. It was just too simple. It was, just, it was so, oh. I'm sorry to say it. Basic. Because <gasps> it was even it was However, even vanilla. It was even vanilla. Oh, oh. It's the most basic ice cream. Oh. She walked up to the she said, excuse me, hello, hi, hi. I would like a basic ice cream. And they said You didn't go for pistachio and honey? Right? You didn't go for brambleberry crisp? Yeah. <gasps> the peanut butter double chocolate. We had just seen S'mores. Aura with S'mores. like the S'mores. ketchup with the condiments kind of dripping into chocolate. fashion. And then you come out with cherry on your head, and that's enough. And imagine how Cherry Valentine feels seeing that. Well, she was still, so they sent her back to the hotel and they said, you get a couple more days in this Holiday Inn Express before we move you to the two days you get at that other hotel. And so Cherry said, okay, that's fine. It's mm -hmm. in, U in the UK, they don't have a Holiday Inn Express. They have a Holiday Inn It Express. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> that okay, really good. We're back on the beach. Oh, sorry, okay. Thank you. Your eyes start to wander. Okay. You see Joe and Mark. Oh my hand, god! Handsome, handsome couple. Both very fit. Oh. Got a little hair on their chest. It's so hard to be a fit gay nowadays. They, they, they're rolling in the sand. Ketamine boots. <laughs> and cats. They get up, they oil each other. Mm. You start getting hard in your pants. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. I'm at the beach. Okay, you just I'm pulling. wearing nothing. You <laughs> and you go, damn. I would look like that, but I love me. And they don't love themselves, mm -hmm. and you hate them for no reason. <laughs> and Have then, you seen oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Then sister, sister pops up. Hey, neighbor. And sister, sister oh. got on the chips with the testicle blood or the testicle ketchup. Do you notice the little the little belt? Yeah, ketchup that was too bald. She had ketchup bustle. Ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Now allegedly she had a completely different look. She had what they described as kind of like a Baywatch busty red swimsuit blonde hair vibe and then they went away for seven months. When they came back, she had this bag of chips concept. I'm not mad at two things on the runway. Who cares? Yeah, that, that can same. happen. But there was accusations of sister sister copy copy. Mm. They were saying like it was over there. Taste I think was like you didn't see the giant didn't bag see of it. chips that yeah. was sitting in the corner for weeks. <laughs> I think for Sister Sister, I think she could have said, maybe I did see it and think of it, but like I really didn't remember it. But if I did, I'm sorry. Like I did not mean to steal it, but you did it better, so whatever. But instead she's like, I'm not stealing from you. Yeah, that's the thing that rubbed me the wrong way is the digging of the heels in. It's the trend we're seeing with a lot of people right now. It's, it's like, just admit you're wrong. What do you mean it's the, oh, the digging deal. of the heels in? Are you talking to us? No, no, no. I was referring to... I was wrong. I was referring I told to... I you, cum is funny. Mm. I'm so sorry. Cum no, no, is no, no, hilarious. No, no, no. Funny. You had just dipped your feet in the water. You're not trying to fully submerge. And then you come back to your towel and... <laughs> we can't avoid all those words, Alexis. I can't use, like, travel words. Cum is such a word. Well, now word. it's on the brain. That's a verb. You walk back to your towel. Okay. <laughs> drenched in cum. No, you walk back to your towel. And you're like, you know what? It's time for a nap. I'm going to just bake in the sun for a little bit. You lay down. I don't know that I ever We say can't that. do you, that. Yeah, we can't say that. No, we can say it, but we I'm, can't do it. Is there not enough S SPF for y'all? We don't have, yeah, we can't. Oh. I burn after two minutes in the sun, even huh. if I'm fully clothed. So I don't know if you've heard, but white people weren't supposed to exist. We are an accident. And you just feel that, oh, it's going to be a wonderful nap. Mm -hmm. You nap, mm -hmm. and when you wake back up, it's Joe Black. There's a windstorm, and she had just. <gasps> oh, oh, I better start packing. Look at Joe her. Black. Oh, this was a really cool. Look. This was a really cool. This look. was a really Lapsed. cool look. Mm -hmm. What a way to come back into the competition. No, nope. she looked great. She looked great. She had a really Those cool, campy creative. look. The wig, the props, the tickets she around, like the like performance. Jeweled, like who chips. was it in Holland that did that? Was it? Chelsea boy who had a similar wind blown. It wasn't similar. But Chelsea, also, yeah, Chelsea yeah. boy. Also, so Sugar cool. Cane did something like that too. She did like the poppy seeds win. Well, she didn't I remember my well girl. The other, I'll but leave yeah. my girl out of this. <laughs> Why'd you bring her up? What would Sugar Cane say in this situation? Oh, mm. She's walking down the beach and the wind hits her. What'd she say? Honey, that wind's hitting me and it is loading me up with you. Guessed it, honey. Come. <laughs> Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for giving her that. Oh yes, my yes. god. Yes, I'm a generous nice. I'm a generous queen. And that was the runway. That did was it. the runway. The winners are the United Kingdom D dolls. Dolls, yes. Uh, and everyone gets a badge. You get a badge, you get a badge, you get a badge. Oh, it's over running that down. That's so funny to me because like obviously in US drag race they get money. So mm -hmm. they even when a team wins, there's still a winner on the team. And they're like, Oh, we got these badges, we printed these. So Jeff, you can you bring that yeah. box from Maybe the back? Just um, grab one. The one, the one that's his badge written on. Grab one that fits. Um You got you got one? Do you want one? You wanna take one home? I want a badge. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about the these. The box. Actually, do you wanna talk about these critiques? Yeah. We started with Ellie Diamond. They were pretty nice on her. Mm -hmm. The only thing was that Graham was like, that looks like a costume, which he didn't call costume. What do they call it in the UK? They call it fancy dress, fancy which dress. sounds better than yeah, playing dress better. up. But Silly. also it was like, it was fine. shut up, Graham. She wasn't, shut the f Ellie wasn't oh, a big, cussed. Ellie wasn't even part. It's fine. So then we move into Tia and we start to see uh, some unruling. Rue went crazy this episode mm. and can i say i loved it oh, i wouldn't love what? it every i wouldn't love it every episode but i kind of loved it see she was relaxed release. she was kind of sitting back when the second group did so poorly she oh, didn't clap i know everyone else she was clapping she, she sat clap. there and was like 
<laughs> that is it the, was that's insane. The, that, but that's what we, okay, America's Next Top Model, I challenge you, America's Next Top Model, when Tyra would go yeah. off, I, I believed in you. We all believed in mm -hmm. you. Like, that's iconic. Rue went off this episode. She said an H&M line, which we'll get to. Like, that's iconic. So I loved it. Because what was your jaw on the floor? It was jarring. when I watched it, I was like, oh my God. It's been a while since we had a moment like that, yeah. I think she was like, I haven't had a moment like this in a while. I'm going to just do it tonight, no matter she what. She had also mm -hmm. truly been quarantined. She had already filmed yes. season 13. She went back to the States. They filmed season 13. She then came back and was quarantined. She was like, what the fuck? I'm coming back to this show. And I see Tia coffee in a fucking Halloween costume. She was, yeah, she was like on it. Well, what are you going to do? You need to step it up. And Tia goes, well, I'm going to step it up. And the Rue said, you said that last time. What are you going to do? I was just waiting for, and it didn't happen while the girls were on stage. I was waiting for the moment of Rue to be like, you know, because I care about you. That's why I'm so mad. It didn't it come. It did come later. It came later. It did come later. Mm -hmm. So I agreed with the Tia stuff. Was there, did y'all agree with the Tia? I mean, issue? yes, but I like Tia so much now. We all like Tia. But, and, but yeah. She, but she's basic. There, there, I, I think she won that stupid award that doesn't mean anything for a reason. I think... Her drag is, and I say that as, look at what, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I, I, I'm i in the same That's boat. That's not your body? Yeah. Oh, the tits are mine, but I borrowed the vagina. <laughs> so then we move on to sister, sister. And they immediately start saying, oof. Sucks to me. Sorry about you. Aurora doing it way better than you. Mm. Oof. And then she came back, like her whole defense was, what? Did she come back? Actually, I don't remember. They did say that her makeup improved, which mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. And they liked her outfit and the yeah. performance. It is unfortunate. They did say it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Which is true because had a horror not been there, would we have disliked the outfit as much as we did? Probably not. Mm -hmm. but, oh, that's cute. Your chips. Be, be I didn't yourself. dislike it. I just was. It, but after a horror, it was hard to. Well, yeah, horrors get was better. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we get into Joe Black. <sighs> which Joe Black kind of fell for the bring back my girl storyline where every girl except for like Nasha Lopez gets eliminated the minute they get brought back. Mm -hmm. It seems like they just from the beginning were not understanding where Joe was coming from. But that's that's the thing is that when she got eliminated the first time and we were like, what? You don't get it. And then this time they still weren't getting it. I thought her coming out, yes, the H&M moment is iconic. No more fucking H&M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said. Yeah. You're I don't want to. Dress, I could buy that from Primark or that was Michelle because she was oh, know, like, look, I've, I've been, I live in the UK, Primark. And, and then Joe's Joe goes. Like, H&M. And Rue, Which I thought was a funny moment. That could have been, that's what I'm saying. That could have been a, a moment of like, oh, well, at least you have a sense of humor about it. Instead, Rue says, I don't want to see any fucking H&M. Yeah. But that was iconic and I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. And because of that H&M line, Chan... You pitched an idea tonight before oh. we started recording Here's that I think do. is brilliant. Mm -hmm. If y'all go back for the IMHO fans, we did an Amazon shopping list. Mm -hmm. For the premiere of season 12. For right? the premiere of season yeah. 12. I think we oh, should yeah. go on H&M and buy something for the finale of Drag Race <gasps> UK season oh my two. Gosh. What do you think? So brilliant. Let's do it. Well, because I love an, an, that's an, that's an Amazon dress. That's oh, this from, is one of the dresses I was going to get. Yeah. And that's Fashion this is Nova. Fashion Nova. Which I've Begging you to buy from, uh, and you're you so, so happy. Uh, it, it you look sickening. so sickening. And this is from Cocoa Beach, Florida. So on Amazon, what we did is we picked three things we liked a lot, and then we had you vote to decide what we're gonna wear. So mm -hmm. very much Eurovision. We're gonna do that. We're gonna shop on H and M. We're gonna give you three choices that you can pick from. You and get to pick. We will we'll order whatever them. you you say. Yeah, and then we'll we'll, we'll wear them for our. Finale review, yeah. which is uh, historically been a mukbang the last couple of times. I think it oh. should be a mukbang again, don't you think? Yeah. Oh. And we can have fish and chips. Yeah, we, we can have those chips. snacks that a, a friend is sending yes. us. Yes, we did have a patron, <gasps> Haley. She said that she would like to send us some UK stuff, so oh. I did actually send her my actual mailing address. So if you dox me, Haley, I I don't have anything else going on. I will fly over there. I will find you. No anthrax, please. Yeah. They, well, they won't let us over there. No, they won't. Uh -huh. For it's reason. for their it's for their protection. for their protection yeah so stay tuned for that video because we are gonna have to do it pretty soon if we're gonna order from H&M yeah so we'll do yeah. that soon because yeah. it takes a couple of yes yeah. but also I, 
I don't remember a drag race where they have said what you were wearing in the performance or in the challenge was too basic. Mm -hmm. I've never really heard them be like, you looked awful in the challenge. Mm -hmm. Really? Alaska, when she dressed up in boy drag. Well, that was their own homophobia coming out. Yeah. But, but it's not like she was the first queen to wear something that was off the rack or looked off the rack. For a challenge. For yeah. like a, a random challenge. Mayhem like, came back in All Stars in an Amazon bodysuit. Hello. Yeah. Like, I didn't Hi. understand that. It wasn't a <laughs> runway. I could understand if she came down the runway in a basic dress. But that was a <clears> challenge. <throat> I think they just needed something else to connect to her to yeah. make her worse. Send her home. Yeah. Because her look was so phenomenal on the runway. They don't get her. They, yeah. got, they didn't get her in the first episode. They don't get her now. And so I agree. I, I'm, I'm... I think it's a little bit of a square peg into a round hole situation. Jill Black is an incredible... Back to come. Back to come. <laughs> so uh, what kind of peg do you like? The oh, I like two hole. pegs at once. Oh, that's why they call you two Ooh. peggy. Two peggy? They call me two peggy. Two peggy buddy. Two peggy. So it's time for the lip sync. They have decided it is Joe Black against Tia Coffee. Tia again lip syncing makes me sad, but yeah. I understand. I guess the critiques. Listen, I love Tia Coffee. I'm a huge fan of you, girl. It's because I feel you. I'm the same way. But this lip sync. She said in this challenge she's a dancer. No, I mean, sure, you can... She throws her knees to the ground. It's so oh, her manic. Poor knees. That lip sync would not last 30 seconds in U.S. Drag Race. But luckily for her, Joe Black is not a lip syncer and was but not doing But Joe Black doing was doing Mitch Joe more. Black. Rue looked over at Joe Black with literal flames in her eyes. She, that's what I'm saying. She hated... She yeah. did not want to meet Joe Black. You know how we were saying in the first episode, in the movie, when Brad Pitt gets double hit by the car? Rue was driving both cars. Yeah. <laughs> can, can somebody do that? Yeah. That's horrible. With Actually, never mind. Joe Black already has an established career as a fabulous cabaret and burlesque artist. Mm -hmm. They've traveled the world and will continue to. I think this just may be, for whatever Not reason, they were like not... Yeah. I don't, she wasn't wearing platforms, was she? But I think no, that... I was in heels don't all. try it. Tia's lip sync with Astina, I think gave her a confidence in her abilities that I do not think her abilities back up. And that's your homosexual opinion. Sorry. She was, the mania was fun the first time around, and then I was like, where is the connection to the music? Do you hear the music? Do you, is it yeah. changing you? But then, yeah, with Joe Black, it's like mouth open point. I already told you how I feel about that. <laughs> like, yeah. this is not a dance move, but... They're both lovely queens, and they do something that draws in and attracts people, so they're, Listen, they're phenomenal. I'm yeah. so happy that Tia is still in the competition. Yeah. I would be so upset if she were sent home. Yeah. But do I think she's a good lip sync or no? Mm -hmm. And I think if she has to lip sync again, I think if they save her again, I think it, I think it's a mistake. Yeah. We'll see. I do like that this storyline is going for her, that she is like a queen that just needs a little bit more affirmation yeah. from friends and like from peers. Mm -hmm. because she's sweet as hell. She's so nice. Tia is. And she does have it. And she's good TV. She's, she's good so TV. funny. She's so smart. Mm -hmm. Can I ask this? I think. Why did you lift your screw? Put that back It's down. hot and you can't see. <laughs> we can. You can't <laughs> see. Do y'all think you know who's going to win this season? Hmm. Me neither. I don't and know. I think that's a my good money season. is on Lawrence Cheney. That I would love that. But my, I would love but my other taste. money's on taste. Same taste or even Ahura. Even I think Ahura is has already been cast in the villain role. I don't think they would give even it to the, the villain. villain. I think she's showing I don't know. vulnerability. Sometimes the anti-hero becomes the hero. Oh, I told you I don't watch Marvel. Remember? Oh. You watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I do. She's Same a thing. villain. <laughs> I don't know, Miss Maisel. <laughs> I just be saying stuff. No, she's not. Okay. It's Tony Shalhoub. Okay. We say goodbye to Joe Black. The judges didn't get it. They mm -hmm. didn't get it. And they weren't. They didn't get want it. to. No. That's fine. I think they didn't want to, but I want to see what Joe Black is doing, and I'm, I'm excited. Love. Did y'all see their monster? His monster mash look no. on Twitter. Oh, I bet it's good. Oh, it was good. I'll put it right here. I haven't seen it yet. Ding. Ding. <gasps> oh my God, that's amazing. That's, that's cute. That's cute, girl. He's a He's yeah. monstering. Witch vampire, yeah. Oh, really? He's a vampire witch vampire. That makes sense. Whoa. The monster match is what she slays, and that makes sense. Yeah. Have you ever seen Twilight? No. You don't need to. We'll watch him. Oh. I read the books. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to know. 
Now, I have been encouraged by my lawyers to forego this next segment because we are in talks with Rue and <laughs> there's litigation, but I came up with this first, <laughs> okay? I have to ask, I have to ask my sweet babes, Jan, yeah. you okay? You know, I'm all right. You know, the Mercury, it's in retrograde, gay, retrograde. No, retro it isn't retrograde. Retrograde. <laughs> so, you know, my eating habits have been kind of funky. I did have Popeyes <gasps> today and I did. From Popeyes Cares? From Popeyes Chicken. From Popeyes Cares. Did you have the chicken sandwich? <laughs> no, I just uh, had the classic bone in chicken. <laughs> girl. And it, it, it really did heal my soul. I was very happy with it. We're still in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. You should eat whatever you want. You're right. I've been eating, I've been eating for two as well. Mine was the... Who's the second? <laughs> well, there's me in this wig and me in the other wig. I take turns. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, Darby! Darby! What? Darby! What? Do you can? Yes. Alexis? you about my grandmother being held up at the beauty shop yeah. like with two I guns telling her. they took her ring yeah and she had to watch that angels on it and she, she said to, to carry them, well she said she said okay Can I keep this it's just angels it's not worth anything they said give us the watch bitch. okay okay to my bitch. Mama. i know ladies you should have beat them oh sorry alexis yeah you okay <sighs> yeah i cleaned up my living room today because uh my roommate he got a he got a he got um one of those Ellipsy, ellips, ellipticals, uh -huh. and he's gonna put it up in the living room, and he said I can use it. We'll see how committed he's gonna be. <gasps> Wait, actually, right. also the, yes. the the nice old man that used to live above me. Sometimes he's when dead. he would see me in drag, he would flirt with me because he didn't know is who he I dead? was. I don't know, but the landlord has been in and out because they're redoing his the bathroom, which is above my bathroom, and um, he you don't go... redo a bathroom for a living old man. Well, what if Maybe he just he died lived there the whole be time? Happy what they Maybe have. he drowned in the bathroom. I don't know. Well, I don't much. know. His mattress is hanging outside, like on the balcony. <gasps> no. Uh oh, he changed. Oh, he's dead. Did he Something die? Something happened on he that died. bed. Well, here's the thing. There's so he used to play something. piano late in the night. And the piano was in the room above mine, so I could hear it, but it was like lovely. He was very, he was, he was decent. What if I hear piano? Oh no, he's haunting you. You sound paranoid. Are you sure you're okay? No. UK? I'm UK? not. UK? You're not UK? I'm not UK. I'm not okay. All right, this has been RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Take it away! Beans? I, us? <laughs> I will. Before we go, though, it's something we haven't done in a couple weeks. First of all, it's my fault. I'm so sorry. I'm very, very embarrassed. But we have been getting so many incredible Venmo tips, and mm. we have not said thank you in a couple weeks. Because truly, me sending you your portion of the Venmo tips, and me sending you a note that says we got our portion, um. it is so... It's so exciting, and it feels so nice. You'll feel it one day. I it's I, feeding us. It's feeding us. Literally. We're surviving. Literally. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we are going to sing, of course, our favorite UK. Eurovision song. Eurovision our favorite Eurovision song. song, of course. Uh, I'm Conchita. Is this the Europe or is it Australia? Australia. Yeah. Is this Europe, Europe or is it... <gasps> Wait, oh! It doesn't oh. matter Australia because oh. I'm Conchita Worst. I'm trying to think of one. I'm not your daughter. Mm. I'm not your not weird. I'm not your That was good. You should win Eurovision. If I could be in Eurovision. We're Americans. So this is coming out on Valentine's Day weekend, which I know what you've been watching, so you know what's about to come. The Chicago Black Drag Council presents the Black Valentine's Cabaret that is happening all weekend long. Friday. So you are either seeing this if you're on Patreon on Friday, or if you are a non-paying member, it's okay, watch the ads. You're, you're doing your, your part. That's coming out on Saturday. So the shows are happening right now now as yeah. we speak oh, as we are speaking. and it, it goes through sunday so there's a gofundme it'll be up all weekend you can give to that gofundme so we can make sure that those performers are paid because that is a lot of performers yeah. that's a lot of performers yeah. mm -hmm. and these shows are going to be incredible and the shows that have already been guess what they were Incredible. Incredible. Mm, could I even... uh, so the GoFundMe is down below. So if you can just click that link and drop a couple bucks. If you do drop a couple bucks in there and you have a couple bucks left over, if you look in your purse and you go, oh, 
I have a couple bucks. You could give to us so that we can buy food, we can buy shelter, we can also buy mascara. You can go to our Venmo at IMH of the Show. You can go to our Cash App, which is Cash, that's like a symbol, Cash, IMH of the Show. So you can give to us all the time, always. Mm -hmm. If you are new to our channel, you can like and subscribe to it. Very I important. always forget to say that. It's what all the it's YouTubers are saying. It's important to do, though. Yeah. yeah. It but helps out the algorithm, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It sends us up. And but when only, you comment. Only click the thumbs up button. The thumbs down button doesn't work anymore. So that just Click that the is the thumbs true. down button actually it sends a curse to your family. Mm -hmm. Also follow us on our other social medias on Instagram, on Twitter. Twitter. If you use Facebook, I think these girls do use no. Facebook. That's rude. What? Social handles yeah. in the description below. And if that's not enough and you want more, come join us on Patreon at IMHO The Show for exclusive content, a podcast, and Darby shows her body parts. Oh. Well, the ones I had removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do put those on Patreon. We have them on display, like, you know, butterflies with the neat pins in them. Oh, butterflies on display. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back next week for more UK. Goodbye. Bye, Bye, Bye vibes. Bye, vibes. In it. Pose for a peek. Me? Oh. oh. Okay. Butterflies on display would be a good song. Butterflies on display. On display.